Have you ever been in this place where it just feels like your tennis racket is letting you down on every other shot? Well, I've been there and so has Rafa, Roger, and Novak. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how you can get the most out of your tennis racket. So this is a seven step program on how to best start customizing your tennis racket. You've just spent $300 on a new frame. You think you should be set for life, but you're not. Your game changes, we all change. And sometimes you just need your tennis racket to change with you. There's only so many options on the market and there's so many different types of players. So the first step in getting the most out of your tennis racket is knowing what you're playing with. You wanna measure your racket's strong weight. So the static weight with strings, the balance point, and finally the swing weight. The swing weight can be a bit tricky. You should be able to take it into your local shop and they should be able to measure it for you with an RDC, but there are manual ways to actually measure this, although they may not be as reliable. The second step is finding your maximum swing weight. So we're all different people. We've got different sizes and different strengths. Everybody is going to have a different maximum swing weight. Stronger players, that means both physically and in terms of how efficient your technique is, they're gonna have higher maximum swing weights. Now, the way I'd recommend starting with this is add two grams of weight at the tip at 12 o'clock. From there, play a session. Do you feel tired at the end of the session or does it feel the same? If you feel like you've got lots of energy left at the end of your regular hitting session, add two grams again the next time. You wanna keep doing this until you feel like okay, I'm feeling a bit tired at the end of this session. Doesn't matter if your normal session is five sets or just 30 minutes. You want to make sure you're feeling energized throughout that session. So once you hit that kind of ceiling, scale back a little bit, and that's your maximum swing weight. Write that down and save it for later. So the third step is diagnosing our torsional stability. So this means off-center shots from the Y vertical axis on the tennis racket. The way that you could increase this is by adding weight at three and nine. So what I would recommend is remove about four grams of weight from your 12 o'clock and bring two grams down each, two grams at three and two grams at nine o'clock on your tennis racket. From there, go have another hitting session. Does it still feel like the racket is twisting too much on impact for your liking? Yes, no. If it's not twisting, good, keep it how it is get that max swing weight back up to where you feel comfortable. If it is still twisting on impact, add some more weight. Bring a little bit down from the tip again, out towards the sides. You may notice that flatter players often prefer more weight at three and nine. If we take a look at Novak Djokovic, he hits the ball flatter than Rafael Nadal, and he's got so much weight out at that three and nine position, whereas Rafa doesn't have any. So the fourth step is testing out how our stability has traded off with our maneuverability. Yeah, it does feel great to have a ton of weight out at 3.9 because it feels like your racket can plow through any ball no matter how badly you shank it. But there is a trade-off. You're going to be losing out on maneuverability. It can be very important for spin players to keep a lot of maneuverability in the racket so they can whip up top spin through the back of the ball. That's something that I prefer in my racket, so you often won't find my specs including extra weight at three and nine. So the fifth step is diagnosing your recoil weight, basically how much weight there is in the handle. This is gonna be really useful on more static shots, things like the volley, the slices, and the service returns. If you feel like your racket feels unstable, even when you've hit the center of the strings, it's probably time to put some weight in the handle. You'll notice that putting weight in the handle has a much lower impact on swing weight than putting weight higher up. And this is because of how swing weight is measured and how it exists. The further away the weight is from your hand, the greater an impact it's gonna have on swing weight. So we can be pretty liberal with adding weight in the handle. I'd recommend adding them in about five gram increments. You could also try just adding a leather grip and seeing how that goes. I would add the weight until you feel like it's enough but if it feels like it's tiring you at the end of your playing session, you probably wanna scale back a little bit. More weight is almost always gonna feel better. It's just a matter of, is my racket still maneuverable enough and am I strong enough to handle 
all of that weight. So the sixth step is re-evaluating our static weight. So we've added all this weight at 12 o'clock, three and nine, and in the handle, it might be a very big change from what you were starting with. We wanna make sure of two things. The first, that you still have energy by the end of your hitting session, and the second, that you still have the maneuverability you need to play the way you want. Sometimes you want that maneuverability, whether it be last minute adjustments or just getting that extra racket head acceleration. I recommend removing weight about proportionally to where it exists on the racket. For example, let's see you've added three grams at 12, six grams at three and nine, and nine grams in the handle. So we're gonna take this out proportionally. So 30% of the weight out at each stage. So that means less one gram at 12, less two grams at three and nine, and less three grams from the handle. And that should give you a relatively similar feeling racket in terms of the weight distribution, um, but it should be lighter and more maneuverable so you can use it more sustainably over time. Now, the last step is the fun step for me, at least. It's enjoy and tinker. While yes, pros rarely change their spec, they have so much more regular schedules than us regular people do. Um, their bodies are already nearly at peak performance, unlike ours. Your body is gonna get used to that slightly heavier racket, you might get stronger. So later down the road, maybe you can add a little bit more weight depending on your preference. Maybe you don't have as much free time on your hands, you've gotta work more, you just had kids, you're going to school, whatever, you're getting a bit of a fat gut, something like that. Take the weight out we don't wanna be getting tired at the end of our sessions, right? So if you feel like I've missed something or you want any clarifications, hit me in the comments or DM us on Instagram. Give this video a like if it was helpful um, and watch the next one too.